All right, man, it's T, and I'm back with a video. Uh, it's, uh, I guess, maybe, I don't know if you could call this Q&A. Uh, I'm going to answer your, your question, uh, Donut Fitness, 6324. I know everybody that writes me on the board, even this guy, Perfection. I know everybody that writes me uh, in the comments section. I even know Steve. I know these people. I know he's from Canada, whatever. Trust me, I pay attention to everything. You, maybe you think I don't, but I do. I know exactly what's going on on my channel. I know who's writing me, who isn't, who's like, you know, with me, against me, whatever. I'm going to answer this question. You say, oh, it's not really, you're not really asking a question, but I'm going to explain something to you. Like, I just wrote you anyways. I wrote you here, so that might explain some things, but okay, let's go over your, your, your question here or your, the thing that you wrote, the comment. I think often I was doing too many exercises at once. Yeah, people, people do that. They make that mistake. They do too many exercises at once. So in the beginning, when you really first start bodybuilding, you want to stick to one thing on each body part until it adapts. And then you start moving on to other ones until they adapt. And it's a, it's a progression. It'll keep adapting by getting better at doing them, by giving you a repair and a remodeling. A forced production is totally different. That's a different adaptation. When you're not getting any more muscle and you're in the gym lifting, that is making you better at lifting something without building muscle. Why doesn't the body want to build muscle? To carry you through a famine. That's in the natural world. That's how it works. The muscle, your body does not want to put on muscle. That's why people get frustrated. They're like, man, but I could lift heavy, bench heavy, squat, deadlift this up. But we're, I got a stronger, but I didn't get a bigger because it's based on an adaptation process so you get physically stronger once every time you do these exercises once or twice that's about it and then it goes away that's what happens so that's why i say you got to do variety of them that's based on an adaptation system it even says that in science it tells you it's everywhere adaptations and then it becomes resilient with a repeated bout of assault assaulting that those fibers they will not damage again unless you do something you're unaccustomed or unfamiliar with. That's it. So um, I think often I was doing too many exercises at once. Recently, I've been doing full body workouts and sticking with one movement per muscle until I'm adapted and then moving on. Well, it, the way I used to do it was I was never adapted to my meals. I just eat a lot and I just keep eating and eating and forcing it and stretching my stomach and eating. To the point where, uh, you know, it gets to a certain point, but you can still leak out more adaptations that way. That's the food part. But, but the, the lifting part, too, it's, I, I would resensitize my body because I would allow it to, to repair and remodel. I would give it a whole week off and then come back. Sometimes the maximum, maybe 10 days. But in the old days, I was young. Five, uh, seven days was sufficient, one week. And so that's a resensit resensitization. The body re has, has repaired and remodeled. And then I come back and do a full body because it's based on what? An overworking of an untrained muscle or unfamiliar muscle. Get it? It's unfamiliar now. It becomes somewhat unfamiliar because it's overtrained. If you do a full body workout, it's an overtraining of that muscle. That's really what it is. That's why I mentioned here, I wrote to you, I wrote you something. Anyways, I'm gonna still answer this before I talk about that. I hadn't squatted much, being went back to squats doing 15, 25 rep sets. Yeah, you could do, you could do 40 reps for, on a squat. You could do 50, you could do 60. See what I mean? I think people are just scared. They're scared to do that. So you could do really high reps, but here's the thing. Instead of lowering the weight, why not lower the reps? Start with a super high rep and then lower it. See what I mean? See the difference? Listen to this. High repetition, but go down in reps, but do not go down in weight. What do most people do? They start with 10 reps and what do they do? They go down in, in weight. They keep going down and down and down in weight. There's nothing going on there. I'm not talking about steroid people trying to pump more glycogen in their muscle. I'm talking about people trying to get an adaptation in muscle damage. <clears throat> so yeah, sore for full, you were sore for four full days. Well, yeah, 20 rep sets is pretty high. 15 to 25 would be high. So you definitely eked out some damage there. So you got an adaptation. The soreness is starting to get less through assume I'm adapting. Well, I have the same problem with the cables now, trying to condition myself 
I notice that there's a bluntening effect now. I don't notice any soreness. I don't feel anything. There's nothing really much going on there unless I change something up because I'm coming more often to the gym. Can you get an adaptation in an adapted state? Yes, of course. You could be adapted to these exercises that you're doing and you can get a new adaptation being adapted providing you do something you're unfamiliar with in the gym. Are, are you unfamiliar with, with starting with a weight doing 60 repetitions and then going down from 60 to 50 to 40 to 30 to 20? If you've never done it, then I, I suggest you try that. See what I mean? Do not lower the weight, lower the repetition, but start with a super high repetition. That's what I wrote you. These are ways of how to get adapt. Do you have to learn on your own how to get an adaptation? Even arm wrestling, instead of doing the, the same boring exercises for your, for your forearms in the gym, start doing the stuff that arm, wrestles, arm wrestlers do, like pronation and stuff. Have you done those? I don't see anybody in the gym doing pronations or anything. I have to carry these special straps in the gym to do pronation and stuff. So I do everything that an arm wrestler would do. Why? Because I'm going to get a different adaptation there in my arm. At the same time, while I'm conditioning myself, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because it's going to give me an adaptation and make me stronger at arm wrestling. See what I mean? How do you get stronger at arm wrestling? Doing arm wrestling, these movements for arm wrestling, pronations, this, that, whatever. That's how you get good at them. A deadlift is not going to make you, sorry. A deadlift is not going to make you stronger Deadlifts are not going to make you stronger at arm wrestling. See what I mean? Understand this. L listen to this. A, a deadlift, uh, an OHP, and, and uh, a bench press and uh, a squat is not going to make you strong at arm wrestling. You want to know what's going to make you strong at arm wrestling? These movements that you do with your arm that are, that are purposely for arm wrestling, those movements. And how do you do that? Use weights. Use weights and the pronation, the, the, the pulling and all this kind of stuff, the fingers, all these things that you're doing, you have to do them on the, on the, on the cable machines and then you can switch from free weights to cable machines until you exhaust these adaptations. But I would do one until you exhaust the adaptation then move on to the next one. Example, do pronation, super high rep, heavy weight, and then just lower the reps, not the weight. And then eke out as many adaptations as you can there. And then when it's done, do something else. You, know, you understand me? That's it for the arm. That is, a, that is within that arm wrestling movement. That's how you do it, dude. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say there. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Tell me what you think about that. Like, subscribe, comment down below. I'll see you in the next one, Borowski. Yeah, I wrote you here. Yes, you are adapting. So you want to try and do new movements, higher rep schemes, semi-heavy, not lowering the weight, but instead starting with a high rep scheme and lowering the reps instead of lowering the weight. Yeah, that's simply how it's put. All right, friend, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, I got to go.